Tony Yayo chopping it up with uh, Jadakiss at a recent concert they had. Um, let's go ahead and check out this footage and see what they're talking about, y'all. The thumbs up button. I'm going to argue with niggas over Biggie, too, man. Yeah. <laughs> 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 she she was not going to get that ass kiss that question, nigga. I got it. I got it up three or four. Every, when I see you going to war for B.I. like that, that's right, anybody. Nigga. That's right. That's right. You that's the right. You right. You shit don't change the caliber of the opponent. That's right. Fuck. That's right. 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 That's Right, right, yeah. you know, when I started playing Mad Ice Cube shit from like the first album, Deficit Hip Hop and all that, my son Light started playing Biggie, nigga. The room just shifted, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you go to the artist, I said, this nigga, yeah, yo. Go. Oh, boy. And you break, nigga, you break it down. Go out of play this shit. Let me hit this. Go, look at this shit, nigga. You hear this? That shit out of here. Texas, right? So he kind of mad because 50 got the Astros ring and all that. Like, yo, I want my ring and shit. Uh, laughing and shit. So we start, he like, yo, I ain't gonna front. Ice Cube better than Big. I'm like, oh, come on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yo, niggas hate New York niggas, man. Yo, but Jay, yeah, but I mean, dude, Biggie was dope, but New York dudes be going way too hard. I think because he's maybe because he passed away. And you know what I'm saying? A lot of times when you pass away, and he only, I mean, he had, what, two albums out, right, when he passed away. But Biggie was nice. He was clever. I think Biggie was clever. But somebody like Ice Cube, Ice Cube was clever, and he could tell a story, and he could make you feel a certain way. I mean, so I'm just throwing out Ice Cube with it. They mentioned Ice Cube. There's certain rappers that I think can do all of that, you know. Biggie didn't really provoke emotion in you when he rapped, you know. He he didn't really motivate me to me. He didn't really motivate you, but he was good party music. He was good. Oh, that's dope how he said that. When you ride in the car, he said, you know, he the way he flow. He was like that. He was kind of, he kind of, you know, and not because he's big, but he kind of reminded me of E Forty. E Forty wasn't really a really good rapper to me, but his his wordplay, his quickness, his cleverness, and his putting his words together was what is what grabbed you. Plus he had party music. So I think it's the same thing with Big. He was more of like a East Coast E40. I mean, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I feel. What y'all think? Leave your comments. Subscribe to Charles and his world. Appreciate it.